In this short video, I'm gonna show you how to set up the electrical and the kitchen in the X-T12. I'll also show you how to pack it down ready to travel. All the electricals in the X-T12 are contained up here in the front behind this forward boot. Now, when you're setting up, the first thing you need to do is switch on the mains power. That will give you 12 volt power right throughout the caravan. There's also a number of individual circuits on this box. With the awning, there's a switch here, which is the toilet and awning switch. To operate the awning, you flick that on, and then you operate the awning from the switch just beside the kitchen. Now, water pumps. To run the water pumps, actuate the power here. So this is your mains power for the water pump. But to also run the water pump, there is a switch just above the kitchen, which you need to activate as well before the water pumps will run. Everything else is here, the hot water heater, fridge. Now, when you're traveling and you've got a fridge running up in the forward boot, the fridge slide, you need to have this switch on and the main power on. None of this will work without the main power on. So if that's on, you have power to the fridge section in the front of the caravan. Plus you have your DC outlets, all your lights, they're ready to go. Also voltage readout and amp usage. So that covers all your electricals from here. To set up the kitchen on the XT12, you'll need this, which is the kitchen support leg, and it'll be stored in the top boot at the front of the caravan when you pick it up. To open it up, open up your hatch door, and there's two locking mechanisms on the kitchen. There is a pad bolt here, and also there's a lock on the slide. Before you do anything, raise the pad bolt, turn it 90 degrees so the rubber cap is forward, lift it right up, and then turn it back. That'll now sit up on the two pins out of the way. Depress the blue tab on the slide and pull the kitchen out. Now we can put our kitchen leg in and just under here in the middle is a receiver hole for the top of this leg. Pop that in, extend it down and give the kitchen a little lift and then tighten it up. That'll make sure that the leg is properly supporting the kitchen. Now, for the fold out serving area, undo the little rubber bungee and fold it over and line up the dowel on the little support with the hole in the side of the kitchen. All done, all the supports are down. Now, the plumbing for the water, the hot and the cold water, is permanently plumbed to this kitchen. So, once you're set up, you can turn on the water pump switch here, along with the water pump switch at the front on the main control box, then you can use the taps. Everything's there, ready to go. The only thing we need to do is connect up the gas. The gas connects via a bayonet fitting, not dissimilar to what you would have on your gas heater at home. The bayonet receiver is here at the back of the caravan. Just take the little black dust cup out, line up the grooves on the side, push it in and turn it to the right. It's now connected. My tip is, don't turn the gas on at the bottle before you connect this because it'll put pressure at the back of the receiver which will make it more difficult to push the bayonet in. When you're packing up ready to travel, you need to consider whether or not you're still running your fridge. If you're running your fridge while you're traveling, you need to leave the main switch on and the refrigerator switch here which will maintain the power to the fridge slide. That on, main power on, and we're covered for the fridge. Everything else can be switched off. If you're not running a fridge, literally just turn everything off and hook up your trailer and away you go. When disconnecting the gas for the kitchen, when you're packing up, turn off the gas bottles and let the gas relieve through the cooktop. That'll get rid of any pressure at the back of this connection and make it a lot easier to pull it out. So push the fitting in, turn it to the left, pull it out, it's now disconnected, and just return your little dust cap back in like so, and it's all done. Once the gas is disconnected, you can pull the hose back through the hole in the bottom of the kitchen and store the hose in this middle section here. Before you pack everything up, make sure all your drawers 
and little hatch door are locked and turn the little tab across in front. That'll stop it from accidentally coming open while you're driving. If these manage to open, it'll make it very difficult to pull the kitchen out when you, when you pull up. Now we can fold up our tray, fold down the support and return the rubber bungee over there. Now simply remove the support leg and to push the kitchen in, press down on the blue tab and slide it away. So get in, give it a bit of a nudge, make sure the slide's locked in, then return the pad bolt to its original position, locked away, close your hatch up and put the kitchen leg back in the front storage boot. And that's it folks, that's how you set up and pack down the kitchen and the electricals in the X-T12.